thank you all for um, joining today. Uh, so I'm Chief Product Officer at uh, Eigenpulse for a, a data intelligence platform for life sciences, and we're really looking forward to uh, to sharing this uh, webinar with you today. So um, the outline of the talk today is we'll introduce ourselves. Um, I'll in introduce my uh, my uh, colleague Tarek and Adam, who's our guest. Um, then we'll sort of delve into the challenges around cytometry data and introduce our CytoML solution um, for, for cytometry. Uh, we'll be able to then contextualize this uh, with the work that we've done um, in conjunction with uh, with Adam and his team at KCL with their COVID data. And then we'll we'll go into a, a sort of a live conversation with um, Adam as well. So the key takeaways from this um, talk today is that We'll be able to highlight how groups, big or small, can leverage high performance machine learning driven processing, uh, powerful analytics and visualizations uh, through an easy to use interface, uh, no code web based environment, and how the site of a mail suite can enable uh, high throughput experiments, uh, both in the size of data, but also the complexity of data um, and simultaneously increase the quality of results. Then finally, we'll sort of touch upon our commitment to compliance and um, how how we can help our customers who do require a higher level of compliance for their regulated environments. Okay, so um, my name is San Amsure. I'm Chief Product Officer. So my background is uh, in computational structural biology. So that's what my PhD was in. But I, I was sort of the go-to guy. Uh, to do all the sorts of data analysis from uh, genomics, proteomics, uh, stru obviously structural biology, but then statistics and visualizations. And so that really got me interested in building high performance, easy to use tools for, uh, for scientists. Uh, Tarek is uh, a computational biologist. He'll come in later and, and discuss the, the COVID-19 results. Um, his background is in immunology. He's a DPhil from the University of Oxford and a postdoc uh, I spent a couple of years doing a postdoc there as well, and he really brings the scientific ex excellence, the focus on uh, you know, the intersection of, of the wet lab and, and bioinformatics. And our guest today is Adam Lang. He's uh, a senior postdoctoral researcher in the Heyday Group at King's College London, um, where he's been working on infection immunity and immunophenotyping project, the three I projects, which is a broad immune phenotyping screen of knockout mouse uh, in collaboration with the WTSI. So his work is focused on the development of high throughput, high dimensional flow, cytom cy flow cytometry screens on the mouse immune system and automated analysis of flow data. And in addition, Adam has been working on a number of mutants identified in the primary screen to further understand the function of these genes in the immune system. Uh, and Adam is a, a PhD in, in immunology. And so we've known Adam for a couple of years uh, and we've been really impressed by his ability and his group's ability to sort of push our understanding of the immune system. Um, him and his group are at the forefront of uh, building a picture of the immune system of COVID patients. And so this is where the, uh, the case study comes from. And some of this work has sort of recently been accepted into uh, a renowned high impact journal, which uh, Adam will uh, sort of touch upon later. Uh, so keep an eye out for that publication as well. Um, as such, his knowledge and expertise in running large scale, high throughput cytometry and multi-omics experiments is, is pretty much second to none. Um, so we look forward to discussing some of the challenges he sees in this space later on in the webinar. Right, so uh, we'll just start off sort of to contextualize and, and discuss some of the challenges with cytometry data. And this has really been brought about the fact that cytometry um, as, a, as a methodology has been in the space for a long time, but there's been some recent advances. So um, the, which has led to the increase in, in complexity of data. Uh, the, for instance, the, um, the number of markers has increased, the ability to do automated and uh, roboticized experiments has increased so we can typically see labs producing hundreds of, if not thousands of um, FCS files a day. And this really uh, has not been sort of kept up with, with the solutions in the space. So 
the automated solutions, the uh, the ability to sort of um, automate the, the processing. And so the data processing is still slow, highly manual and subjective, especially the sort of gating steps. And aligned with this, there's very little transparency and it's very difficult to effectively reproduce um, analyses between uh, between scientists, between groups, or the same person after lunch because they're a little bit tired. And so this all ends up with a lack of consistency, which definitely impacts the quality. Um, and then in in sort of compliant environments, this is all a step uh, more important because then the ability to share data is 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 very very difficult. And this amounts to a bottleneck in large scale and, and high throughput environments. 